Hello, folks, we're live and we're doing an examination of strong double or imperial IPAs. And uh, we have some interesting ones tonight. James P. Manana had sent me a message, a voice message, but I didn't have time to listen to it. So I don't know. Maybe it was to tell me he couldn't join because he was that one that actually had the double IPA at first and came up with the idea for this hangout. <laughs> so it'd be a shame if he couldn't join. Um, but uh, that happens sometimes. But I'll have to check later. I'll send you the link. But anybody can get the link because I posted always posted in the uh, the chat area. So I'm in Louisiana, and uh, Ronnie S is in Florida, and then uh, Pompey Road Brewing Jesse is in New Hampshire, and then back down south, just north of Florida, is Beverage Ramble in Georgia. So we got Gulf Coast, Louisiana, East Coast. Florida and Georgia. Well, Florida's on the Gulf Coast. Also, what am I thinking? It's a peninsula. And then, uh, so both coasts. And then uh, New Hampshire on the Atlantic Coast also. All right, so uh, Georgia on the Atlantic Coast. So we have all coastal states, and we're drinking all coastal beers. Well, I don't know about that. Um, I have, from right on the Mississippi River, copyright infringement. It used to be called Mecca Hopzilla, Mecca Hopzilla, but they got threatened with a lawsuit, so they changed it to Hoppy Right Infringement. Uh, it's from New Orleans, Louisiana. It is uh, brewed with Citra, Mosaic, and Equinot hops, and it is 7.6% alcohol, and it was... It's within the Best Buy. It doesn't have a born on, but it's with no. It, it actually it's three days past the Best Buy. Oh well, I didn't realize it was given to me. My friend David gave it to me. All right, so now we'll go to Ronnie. He's going to tell us about his. We'll try to keep up with the comments. All right, the Elysian Space Dust IPA. This is Space Dust IPA. The hopping is pure straw gold energy with Chinook to bitter and late and dry additions of Citra and Amarillo. It's an ale, 8.2% ABV. What's up, James? I thought 7.30 was go time. That's what I thought, too. Um, so I'm supposed to experience this beer by the 17th of November of this year, so I'm good. So, um, and this particular bottle is brewed and bottled by Elysian Brewing Company from Seattle, Washington, and Fort Collins, Colorado. Okay. Should I pour it? Or yeah, our, uh, our go time is always... Yeah, you can start pouring it. Our go time is always between uh, 20 and 30 minutes after the hour, actually. All right. So uh, now, um, birds. Now, Jesse has an interesting uh, up. Ronnie, would you mind mute, muting? The birds are. Uh, yeah, yeah, those, those damn birds. <laughs> You're <an> anti bird? <laughs> the bird oh, is the worst. The bird is the worst. Remember. From Kettlehead Brewing Company out of Tilton, New Hampshire, I have a beer called Quest, which is a double IPA at 8% ABV. Um, does not mention the hops that are used. Combination of four hops. Double dry hopped. That's all it says. And it pours. Did you have gravity? It pours. So that's basically a, a beer called it. Quest. Yeah. It's just called Quest, but I added the beer called. But um, yeah, so it, this pours like uh, most of the IPAs around the New England area. Very hazy uh, or murky. Uh, nice tight white bubble frothy head. And uh, it's got that light yellow to straw color. But since it's so hazy, it does look more... Uh, darker than it typically would if it was filtered out. 
Cheers. Cheers to you. Now, beverage ramble. Oh, how he rambled. Oh, the beverage ramble. All right. Now, he's going to present his Colorado. Yes. Uh, good evening, gentlemen. Good to see you all to this evening. Again, hope, you hope everybody's having a great week and a great day. I am drinking the New Belgium Voodoo Ranger, 9% ABV. It has Delta, Bravo, Centennial, Cascade, Calypso, and Mosaic Hops with pale and black malts. And it's 9%, 70 IBUs. Um, I believe, uh, Jay, maybe you can correct me. Um, of course, Ranger was the beer, and then they changed it to Voodoo Ranger. I think that's been going on now for about maybe, what, four or five years yeah. now? Since we, yeah, so. That's right. Um, that's right. That's right. So that's right. it's the same beer, ladies and gentlemen, Ranger IPA, Mary, but it just changed the name, you know, this, this, that. So no, um, yes. no, they improved it. It's different. It they didn't just change the name. They made it better. Okay. But there's the there's a Voodoo Ranger IPA, there's Voodoo Ranger Imperial, you know. Um it would yeah, as you said, they probably improved it from what it was. Uh from New Belgium. Yeah, um, it's not exactly the same. Uh so yeah, yeah. so we're gonna go to Tennessee. There it is. Okay, go ahead, Jay. Okay, so we're gonna go off to James. You're gonna pour yours, and now James is gonna give us some musical intro, and then he's gonna tell us about his exciting, strong ale. I suppose it's strong. Okay, what I got here from the Asbury Park Brewery in Asbury Park, New Jersey, I have Sea Dragon. Wow. All right, and I got a uh, little information on the website. It's got the lovely seahorse with the wings. Uh, doesn't say much. It says an unfiltered East Coast IPA loaded with hops for a huge nose of citrus and pine and a classic bitter finish. IBU is 65. A ABV is 7. I, I, I thought it would be higher, but not too bad. I mean... Uh, it might be might be borderline imperial, you know. Yeah, like so. a, I think yeah, I think I think seven and a half is the uh, low end. Yeah, whatever. I mean, I thought I thought it was, but it, you know, it, there were other products from this brewery are like uh, between five and six. Uh, maybe. But uh, you know, I I ne never knew they existed, but then again. Every little corner of the United States has their small breweries. So I'm going to pour it. Uh, East Coast, uh, I mean, a New England IPA. All right. Now we're going we're gonna to go around and do our reviews now. So I'm going to do the special screen. screen. Here's good morning from Japan. Ah, Masumi, good morning. Good morning. Have a uh, have a nice breakfast, and uh, hopefully there will be lots of sushi and sashimi involved. Uh, probably not. Uh, not this early. I think they're 13 hours ahead. <clears throat> okay. Here I... Whoops. Wrong button. Okay, here I am, everybody. And uh, here is the hoppy right infringement. It's the freshest. 7.6% uh, alcohol ale you ever want to drink, but it does nice lacing it does smell nice now this is sort of like a semi hazy it's it's pretty dang hazy you gotta admit hazy gold smells uh rich in the nose with uh your um white bread crust from your malt you know your white bread your sugary from the malt and then your um hop oils uh there's no ibu listed the company doesn't tell us or maybe i'll try to guess let's see 
Cheers, everybody. Mm. Oh. Cheers, 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 cheers. The bitter, the bitterness is still in play. It's got some robust bitterness. It's got a lot of juicy, juiciness. We were doing when we did our duo review. We were talking about garlic and onion, and uh, somebody was I said shallots, and somebody said, "Well, that's the um, the." Equinot hops that gives it that is that correct, Jesse? You do a lot of brewing. Oh, garlic and onion. I think I've I've picked that up from like uh, I think it was like out of Simcoe or Cascade before. Oh, looking at my hop okay. hop chart, I don't know if I have it on there. Yeah, I've got uh, Citra Mosaic and Equinot. Or I should go alphabetical, Citra, Equinot, and Mosaic. <laughs> All right. The body's high, medium, so it's almost heavy body, but isn't quite. Um, has a savoriness to it. Um, strong bitterness. I would say on the sweetness scale, this is a very sweet beer. It's probably three and a half to four sugar cubes out of five. So... If you need a sugar fix, this will fix you up. Uh, if you need a hot bitterness fix, this will fix you up. <laughs> I, I amuse myself. If you need a 7.6% alcohol, la -la -la -da 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 -da, et cetera, et cetera. Now, I would like to have it fresh out, out, out the brewery. Unfortunately, it was like I said, it was given to me and I didn't check the date. It wouldn't have mattered because it went out of date three days ago and this was scheduled for tonight. But anyway, it's tasting mighty fine. It's tasting good. Oh, so very good. Now, I think Ronnie is out of, is he available? Let me try to pull him over. Pull him on over. Here. Yeah. Oh, okay, now Ronnie's going to tell us about his ale illusion. He's I, about to get dusted. Ronnie's about to get dusted. All right. My interesting product for the night Elysian Space Dust. I've had this before um, a while ago. So, this is how it looks before. It's a little dark, kind of typical West Coast IPA color, um, a bit murky. It had a nice head on it a few a few minutes ago. You can see that's died down, but it's still got the, the lacing. Not effervescent. I don't see bubbles going anywhere. The smell is, um, you know, hoppy. Got the hops smells, floral, floral type hops. The typical West Coast type, um, West Coast IPA type smell. Maybe you could you can pick up that it's a little bit stronger. Yeah, maybe a, um, a less ABV IPA. Yeah. Uh, the taste. Cheers. 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 So, again, it's a typical West Coast style. It's bitter. You're going, going into your tongue. You can feel the bitterness going down the throat. It's like a um, medium mouthfeel. Um, pick up the hops. I forget which ones they are. I mean, I don't know. Can't really pick out which type of hops. This is Citra and Amarillo and Chinook. I'm not, you know, that familiar with picking up hop flavors like that. But I mean, overall, it's it's a um, it's a West Coast style IPA. It's a little bit more hoppy, a little bit more strong. Um, it's eight point two percent, and that's what we're doing tonight, right? Um, double IPAs. Yes. 
it's quite enjoyable though. It's, it's a good, it's, it's a, this beer's been around for a long time. I think it's, a, um, it's an old fashioned type West Coast IPA before they started getting into all the other stuff. Yeah, I love it. It's good. I wouldn't say I love it. Well, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of West Coast style, but well, or what it is. I'm not a huge, I, I am a fan. I kind of like the New England ones a little more, but those have played out a bit over the years as well. Uh, yeah, for what it is, it, it is good. I wouldn't say I love it, but it's, it's good. I actually have a, a little bit of pizza that I'm pairing with it. That's a good pairing. Pizza with IPA or with any Italian food with the red sauce. There. IPAs are good. Go well with Yeah, them. I agree with that. That's what I got for now. I'll All right. Now. Okay. Think about my grade. Enjoy that pizza. Now, I ate a Taco Bell. Um, those uh, potatoes today. Oh, yeah. I love those potatoes. The fiesta potatoes. Well, it's like uh, it's like with a uh, ground meat and lettuce and uh, sauce, different sauces on it. Oh, it was like interesting, the, but the burrito. I don't know if it's worth two two ninety nine. No, it was it was like a bowl and it had French fries in it. Really, I don't know what what Taco Bell's doing with the French fry thing. And I oh, I never saw that. Is that a new thing? <laughs> <laughs> Not really new, yeah. birds, birds, birds the birds, birds, the birds are like, I want some French fries from Taco Bell. It's nothing to do with yeah, Mexico. Yeah. I don't know why they did that. So I looked, I looked down my entire hop chart that I have. Um, none of them mention um, anything to do with uh, with garlic, onion, or even cat okay. cat urine because some people say that you, know, you can get cattiness out yeah. of some and i think it's like the hops that give off the catty notes also can sometimes have that onion or garlic note but yeah none of them mentioned it but i know that there are there's some up there that definitely can give those notes cat off urine? this thing doesn't list like everything you, you can go to four different like uh websites that talk about the same hop and they'll give different notes some similar but sometimes they'll have something else that the other one doesn't talk about um but yeah this beer anyways which i don't know what hops are used in it at first uh when it before it, like had time to breathe and maybe warm up a little bit uh it was uh pretty intense with like a mango uh peach uh a pineapple kind of presence uh, showing up on the tail end of the aromas now that i'm smelling it uh, there's a dank note that's kind of taken over. It's kind of it's kind of like dank with a little bit of mango and pineapple still there. Uh, the peach notes kind of gone out of it. But uh, cheers! Cheers to you. Enjoy it. Cheers. This one's got a, a heftier medium medium body. Not quite going into a full body, but it's getting up there. Uh, Semi-soft mouthfeel to it. Uh, medium carbonation. Drying to the palate still. There's quite a bit of a spicy bite right up front. Uh, it's got this like spicy mango type flavor. Uh, the bitterness on it kind of starts right right at the beginning it carries its way through and then you're left with the the bittering um note without any of the rest of the beer uh it, it kind of seems to be a bit piney when it's just by itself malt presence basically it's just a slight um, slight sweetness. It, it almost tastes uh, similar to uh, if anybody's if anybody's ever brewed or whatnot. If you have your mash runoff, see so that that's what's called the wort. So basically, it's just sugary water. At that point, it kind of has a similar flavor to that. 
it's kind of a test to try to drink that stuff because it's so super sweet because it's just all the sugars from the from the malt um so it kind of has a resembling flavor to that with a maltiness it's not quite as cloyingly sweet though but then yeah like i said to finish on it it's kind of you're just left with this kind of piney note but i'll uh i'll be thinking of a score and all continue drinking on this eight percent you mentioned that is not no uh not detectable the the alcohol is not noticeable in this now in a site if we were using a cyclops scale approach how many hop cones out of five would that beer be you think i don't i don't know what the cyclops thing is like how hoppy well, it is cyclops yeah, the Cyclops scale looks at two aspects. They use the sweetness, which is five out of five sugar cubes, or if it's no sweetness, it'll be none, zero out of five sugar cubes. And then the bitterness is out of hop cones. So if it has almost no bitterness, it'd be like zero or one hop cones. And then if it's like a bitter bomb, it'd be five out of five hop cones, you know? Yeah, like no, I think this one probably about, bitterness. yeah, this is probably about a three out of five, maybe a three and a half out of five. Okay. All right. And the sweetness up front is like probably it. about, I'd give it like a two. Two sugar cone. Two. Okay. <laughs> two sugar, sugar cubes, cubes. Not cones. When I have an ice cream. Right. And you could take sugar and make it into the shape of a cone. Yeah. So it All almost right. has now, a, it's almost balanced. It's almost balanced out. But. Okay. A beer called Quest. Now, from Kettle. Now, oh, how he rambled. Yes, and a good evening, everybody, watching all over America and the world. Uh, I'm drinking, again, the Voodoo Ranger Imperial IPA, 9% ABV, as you can see in the can right there. From New Belgium Brewing Company, based in Fort Collins, Colorado, and Asheville, North Carolina. So, and as you see, I've been sipping on this beer for a little bit right now while everybody's doing their review. Uh, again, as I mentioned, the hops that they have is Delta, Bravo, Centennial, Cascade, Calypso, Delta. and Mosaic hops. So. I'm going to whiff of this beer right now. 9% ABV, as I mentioned. 70 IBUs. And pale and black malts. That's in this beer. So, um, When I lived in Mobile, when I lived in Mobile, uh, we got the fat, they got the fat tire. That was about 2013. Um, I'm sure the brewery's been around forever, but now, again, I guess they started to trek their way further across the Rocky Mountains into more towards, you know, as, as George Norrie, if you listen to Coast to Coast, East of the Rockies, West of the Rockies, if you listen to his show, I do from time to time, uh, Coast to Coast. Uh, so most of us on the East of the Rockies start getting a lot of the new Belgian beers. Um, as I was telling, asking Jay, when they changed the name Voodoo, I guess it was like maybe going on five, six years right now, I guess, uh, they've done that. So, but what was it called before Voodoo? I think it was just plain Ranger, just Ranger yeah. I, Imperial IPA, or uh, yeah, the we had the regular, yeah, the yeah, Voodoo Ranger, Ranger IPA, and then they had Ranger Imperial, and and then but they changed the name to Voodoo Ranger and then Voodoo Ranger IPA and Voodoo Juicy I Hazy IPA. They've done so it's. Is that when the ranger turned into yeah, the ranger. skeleton? Uh, yeah, ranger was like a park ranger. Ranger was like a park ranger, and then voodoo ranger was like a skeleton skull ranger. Yeah. So, a lot of their ads that they ran were very colorful and very catchy and very clever. Most of them they ran obviously on yeah. sites like YouTube and or maybe if you go to any beer okay. beer any websites, you'll see a lot of their videos they're advertising so but it's an employee owned company right yeah i remember all of that i remember all of that uh so, so um well are you ready to let james present his 
I was gonna gonna give um you know the the the, the, the flavor and all. I can say get all the hops okay. there in there. All right, all right, go. All right. I'm sorry. I'm... Yeah, yeah. I'm get slipping. all the malts are like there. there. It, yeah, it's gonna be real quick. It's gonna be real quick, real quick. Uh, Let him finish. Yeah, and <laughs> all the flavors of this. So you know, again, I've had this before. I've reviewed it on my channel. So. Everything that you, you, you want in a very strong, full-bodied IPA is in this. So, um, it is a West Coast style IPA. It, it, I think more. I would say the hops are more present than the, than the you know flavors of you know like of citrus, you know, uh, grapefruit, pineapple, uh, orange, whatever. The hops kind of. I would say more hops are more sixty percent hops 40 percent of the fruit of this beer so all right pretty good so i like that beer i will yeah all right so do i and um like i said it, i only paid two dollars and 30 cents at the uh the station oh uh, yeah racetrack here in in uh in uh right around the corner for me less than 10 minutes away but anyway that's what i paid for the beer so uh, i will have my score Later on, talking about voodoo in rock and roll club this morning, I posted a song from Dr. John from 1968 called "A Walk on Gilded Splinters," and he and he said in the song that he he said in the song, eh, 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 "I can make you stutter," but um, now. Uh, <laughs> But it was a song about voodoo. So the, when they change it to voodoo, uh, is it supposed to be that the, the first park ranger became, he became a skeleton? Yeah, he got like transformed or something. That's why I said he changed it. You know, they transformed it into some like more exotic being, but a better being. Because I, I never liked ranger too much. I, it had kind of like a bleh to it. Okay, now here from New Jersey, live from New Jersey, it's James P. Madonna. Yeah, live. Jersey. Uh, Mas Masumi, uh, you can have beer for breakfast if it's uh, like an orange flavored IPA or if it's like Founders Breakfast Stout with that Archie Bunker looking baby in the front. You know, you can do that. But anyway, here's the, uh, he looks like Archie Bunker. Archibald. Asbury Park Brewery, Sea Dragon. It has a very strong uh, floral and uh, citrusy aroma and a sourness, almost like they added lactobacillus, like something you would, like the aroma of buttermilk, which I like. I like sourdough bread and things like that. I guess that we would call it medium amber. Um, New England IPA, Daisy. You, you can make out the effervescence. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, semi hazy, translucent. Right. Um, it's pretty well balanced. I mean, it's not, it, it's not. Doesn't have a prominent um, hop flavor, but it's nice. Um, you know, at seven percent, you can you can you can have a few of these at a barbecue. But uh, it's you know it's not mild, where I'm gonna criticize it. You know, like like if it was a uh, a pilsner or a common lager. Um, it's, uh, it's strong enough where you can enjoy the flavor. Yeah. I'll try it, it, stout. It's a moderate, it, it's a moderate, moderately strong hop flavor. And, uh, but it, it's a balance between the hops and malt. You know, it's like, it, 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 it doesn't like slap you in the face like um 
many of the Imperials do. Um, but it's good. You know, I'd rather have this than um, any popular um, lager or pilsner. Um, but it, it has that aroma, that, that, that nice sour citrus floral aroma. They don't mention the type of hops used. Um, I guess some of these breweries, they're, they're kind of like a lot of popular people on Facebook. They don't let you share anything. You know, the same thing with the breweries. They don't want to give you yeah. all the shadow information. Shadow. You know, shadow. They're afraid that somebody is going to, uh, a competitor is going to catch up to them or, or blow them off the map or something. You know, they're just neurotic. That's how they are, you know. I mean, so what? You tell people what kind of hops you use, what kind of yeast, it's no big deal. You know, it's not like these ingredients are uh, classified information at Area 51, you know. Everybody in the industry knows about it. Maybe it's a secret family recipe. Like, like KFC's 11 herbs and spices. But not enough, not enough spice for me with the KFC. But anyway, I like it. Uh, Where is I, that from, James? Asbury Park, New Jersey, uh, which is uh, on the ocean. Um, yeah, Asbury Park. <clears throat> yeah. That that, was that's the, where the original um, Jaws happened, right? The Stone Pony. The uh, What is that? Bruce Springsteen, right? Is that the, the first club he played at? Bruce! Or Stone Asbury Park. Park, that's where um, Bam Bam Bigelow was from. Yeah, yeah. Well, Asbury Park was rebuilt it, it, it was um, it was it was absolutely the shits it was crap remember you remember bam bam bigelow um finishing move oh jeez. greetings from asbury park <laughs> well a lot of them are just they they, they changed the name they, they they're just different different descriptions of of the, the similar finishing moves that they had for years, you know, variations of the suplex, uh, DDTs, or you know, it's it, um, nothing's new under the sun. But tunnel of love, um, tunnel of love video was uh, was uh, done in, in Asbury Park. Great song, great album, by the way. Who's that by? <laughs> Springsteen. Springsteen. Yeah, Asbury Park. Uh, um, so the, the, the word, if I had to sum it up in one word, I would say that, that a sour uh, lactose fermented aroma with citrus and floral being secondary. So that's it. Next. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Well, uh, when, uh, Mike and Gloria wanted to yeah. When, when Mike Gloria named their child Stanislaus, Argentina <laughs> said, No, you can't you can't name him Stanislaus because all the children at school are gonna call him Laos. True. That's how and kids are. They said, no, they won't call him Laos. He said, You're wrong. When I was a kid, my name was Archibald and they called me Archie Bald. He said, and they will call him Laos. That's what I call so they it. named they named him. They named him Joseph instead, and uh, everybody called him Little Joey, you know. But anyway, uh, now, to this, I like it a lot. As you see, I already indicated the score. It's unusual. It's different. It's not uh, your everyday IPA. They're throwing that Little Orleans copyright infringement there, 95 out of 100, I'm giving it. A 95 out of 100, a brewery in 2009. The owner took me on a personal tour, which didn't take long since it's not big. But uh, um, and he uh, he ended up getting forced out of the brewery. He he no longer is associated with it because um, he wasn't as much of an owner as he had hoped. There were a lot of investors, and they got rid of him. But he did take me on a nice tour and uh, let me try the beer. And uh, that was uh, 12 years ago and still under 
new people, I guess, or maybe some of the old investors, but they're very popular around here. NOLA, New Orleans Lager and Ale Company, and uh, they do a lot of festivals and all, but they're getting ready to crack down on the city of New Orleans and Louisiana because of the uh, people catching this. <laughs> so, as, as we all know, the brown ale, their brown ale is pretty good. I had it with some red beans and rice, and that was uh, with uh, some Koneka sausage when I lived in Mobile. I was able to get that at Rouse's pretty easily. So, um, it is a good one. It is good. Everything they make is good, pretty much. And it's sky expensive. Uh, it's not cheap. But anyway, uh, so, yeah, so I'm glad I bought out of 100. one can. I bought one can. I'm glad you bought it. So uh, formerly the Mecca Hopzilla, formerly Mecca Hopzilla, and then they changed the name to Mecca. And that still didn't work. So it's old heck. And they... And they settled on copyright infringement. Now, uh, so that's that. Now we're going to go to somebody who's getting dusted, like in the movie Colors, when they said he's dusted. So they better shut down New Orleans, Ron. Because we're all going to die. New Orleans is going to be shut die. down because there's. Oh, the Deltas. The oh, well, because, you know, Delta Burke. Yeah, Delta Burke is terrorized. Okay. If I right. can pull wrong, I will, but it's not working. There we go. Damn thing. Went. All right. I don't think they're going to shut down. Oh, right. look. Yeah. They're going to shut Florida. down the world and blow it up. <laughs> Florida has the worst pandemic like in the world right now, they say, in the world. Florida has the worst scamdemic ever. No, that's because of that chubsy ubsy governor you got there, uh, Ron DeSantis. Um, another Ron. Ron. Another Ron. Yeah, I got my comments on DeSantis. But anyway, back to beer. <laughs> All right, so my grade is uh, it's good. It's good. It's not excellent, though. I'm going to give it a 90. It's good enough. I'm not a huge fan of this style, the bitter style IPA, but um, I'm not going to let that cloud my judgment. I think it deserves a nine. Okay, a nine. It's, it, a it's nine good. Though. It, 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 it is good with um, pizza. It did go. It's good pairing. Okay. And I like the idea of like Charlton Heston head and beneath the planet of the apes, that the best way to save the world from a threat is to blow it up. You yeah. monkey. Yeah. Yeah. You can do that. Sure. If you destroy it, then it'll be saved. All right. Well, now, um, what is the saying that you got to destroy the village in order to save it? Right. We had to destroy the town in order to save it. Okay. There is, Bumpy Road Brewing of New Hampshire. Ready Bumpy's beer looks pretty good. I like the color of Bumpy. It matches his, uh, the the font on his uh, t-shirt. It matches the can, too. Same yeah, color. everything. Everything's color coordinated. Wow. It's all done on purpose. On purpose. Um, the, uh, I'm going to give uh, Quest from Kettlehead Brewing Company a 95 out of 100. A, it's a very nice double IPA. I like how it doesn't go super bitter. I like the, I like the flavor, the aroma. Do they the consider malt, it a the double malt, IPA? The malt could have been a little bit better. It could have been a little bit more depth than the malt, I think. But uh, other than that, uh, I like I like the way that the hops come off in it. Is it considered a double IPA or, or like a, a double New England IPA? Is that what they call it? They just call it a double IPA. A lot of our beers around here are hazy. They just call them IPAs. But it's it really, is a New England, it's New England really style. Right? When you get a, a New England beer that's called a hazy IPA, and then it's not that hazy. So. Yeah. Like that, um, in this year, Nevada has the, the hazy thing, hazy little thing. Hmm. Kind of just like a West Coast IPA with a bit of hazy color to it. 
It's nothing really like a New England out there. Yeah, the New Englands, they're, they're going all, they're using a bunch of different hops and stuff now too, so. It went yeah, it's from, interesting to see it, it went from it one, one platform when it started off kind of like how Hetty Topper was the first kind of start of it, even though that wasn't called like a New England IPA at the time. Um, that's kind of what started the uh, hazy hazy beer thing with the IPAs around here. And, oh, really? Hetty Topper? Went, uh, yeah, and then breweries like Treehouse and, and uh, Trillium really took hold of it and that's when it became that big tropical juice bomb and it was like everybody was brewing big tropical juice bombs that were very very murky soft yeah. mouth feel and now you see a lot of them going you know because there's so many different hop varieties that people are using they're trying to get away from using the same old same old all the time so now a lot of them aren't even really that like juicy like they used to be now you're getting yeah more yeah. spice notes they seem to be a bit more spicy um almost noble-esque type, uh, a bit more piney yeah. and, and dank as well. I like spicy. I yeah. don't like spicy as chatio, but I like spicy. Yeah. Well, well I like yeah, spices, spices as in like what you might find uh, if you're adding spices yeah. to to like a food, not not, not like a hot spice. Right. I, I'm, right. Just, I'm just throwing, I'm just kidding around about that. Cause he but I actually like both of them. I like, uh, you know, spicy beers as well as, like, just uh, spicy, spicy food. Yes, you mm. spice. But I don't know. Yeah, we're not doing, uh, we're not doing uh, shout out yet, right? No, we're going to go back to now. The, okay. oh, now the, the one that the one that the Beverage Ramble has, um, the not times series, I yes. think that the, um, the Voodoo Ranger Juicy Hazy, that's a really good one. Yeah, it's for, for the I agree. I agree. It really is a good one. All right, yeah. Now, John, are you your, looking for Ranger? Are you looking for beer? Uh, so, yes, as you can see where I leave my glass at. Uh, very enjoyable, uh, Imperial. I do like the, uh, you know, uh, I do like them IPAs. I know. These beer styles have been around for a long, long time, um, and uh, but the ones that are very more potent, a little more stronger, that are about seven or more higher in ABV, those ones I really, really enjoy too. So, um, as you can see, I have a, uh, I guess this is an eighteen ounce can of this. Uh, so uh, eighteen, uh, yeah. Uh, 19.2, 19.2. Yeah, 19.2. So maybe one, possibly maybe two, and I think that'll be about it and call it a night. I go for three. No, no don't go for three. I think call <laughs> it a night. No. no. And then you'll be... You it's only Wednesday. Right? Weird things like, you know, hey, did I really paint my house? No. So anyway, uh, so that's... that's what I will give this beer... Wait, Go ahead, <laughs> Imperial Ranger, what's your price for life? All right. <laughs> that's it. I like that song. That's a good song. You know, it's one of my favorite movies, by the way. But yeah, anyway. definitely. Boogie Nights, man. Yes, yes, yes. Um, that's a, that, that is up there. Yeah. Um, yeah, He's so. He's Chinese. He's Chinese. All right, let's go. <laughs> So oh. I'm gonna give this beer. Overall, I give this beer an A. So that would be a, uh, I guess a 9.2 score, 92 score. So that is a minus. All right, 92 out of 100. Yeah. So really enjoy it. So cheers, everybody. Motorhead. <laughs> Sister Christian. Hey, you guys, hey, guys want to play baseball? You want right. to play baseball? <laughs> Was that Boogie Nights with Mark Wahlberg and Burt? Yeah. Yeah. Remember the movie, the, the, old, the great old song they played, I Believe in Miracles? Where are you from, you sexy thing? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, that's the cool thing. Hot, hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Dun, da, da. Philip Seymour Hoffman, right, right. Heather Graham, Julianne Moore. Great yeah, that was the life of uh, John Holmes. They they say, 
Hey, James, you want to play baseball? You mean cyber baseball? I got some firecrackers I'm throwing on the floor. You want to play baseball? Uh, he's got a glass pipe. He's got a glass pipe. He's talking about a glass pipe. Don't feed into it. Do not feed <laughs> in. Hey, what happened to the birds? The boids, the Troy Bean boids. You hear anything else? Everything's got a boipus. Remember that. It's got a boipus. Anyway, I'm going to, like, I want to say what Ron said before about fear. A, a similarity would be like when somebody has high LDL cholesterol, most often the doctor scares you into taking statin drugs. But if you read what statin drugs does to your body, how toxic it is, and all of the horrible side effects, the, you know, the, the, the statin drug is, should, you, there's more to fear in taking the statin drug than in the LDL. So, you know, he was saying, uh, talk, he was doing a comparison about fear. Anyway, um, listen to the mockingbird. Uh, uh, I get, uh -oh. I get White Sox. Um, I got, yeah, uh oh, because the beer was sloshing out the glass. Yeah, because I smacked it. I like to spank everything. Uh, 80, I, I'll get, I'll get it. Hey, there it is. It's an African hornbill. <laughs> Uh, Florida's got so many invasive species, I wouldn't be surprised. I, I'll give this an 87 out of 100 because it just, just doesn't do it for me like I thought it would. It's good. It's not cutting the mustard. No, it's good. It's not cutting the mustard. And um, speaking of mustard, I got some really nice organic... Uh, uh, spicy brown mustard, stone stone ground from Whole Foods for my uh, special uh, Frankfurters. Uh, Dr. Frank Footer, a broad certified uh, podiatrist. I know him well, Dr. Frank Footer. Footer. Anyway, 87% out of 100. But on the other hand, it's good enough to chug on days like this that we're having, like in the mid-90s, hazy, hot, and humid. And, ooh, and you ooh, have to be hot. When I, I took a walk to Trader Joe's, and what did I do? I was jealous looking at all the kids giggling and frolicking in the in ground pools that are part of these condominium and townhouse complexes along the Hudson River. And it was just refreshing watching the pool, you know, imagining, you know, that I lived in, in a place that had a, a pool house. Or, with your little cabana people making me cocktails. But anyway, I digress. 80, 87% out of 100 is uh, is okay. But as far as IP, hazy IPAs go, I've had much better. Like your Sierra Nevadas right. and your flying flying dogfish, whatever the hell, you know, the flying yeah, dogfish. Dog, yeah, yeah. yeah dog, there you go. Right, right. right. So, so on and so forth. What are you going to do? You got to call me. Uh, you got to call me like you see. I'm going to do a promo. You got to call him like you see. Raspberry Park. That's what Fred Flintstone called the resort on the Flintstones. And Frantic City instead of Atlantic City. Frantic City. All right, we're gonna do we're gonna do promos now. And then we'll do the comments. Hold on a second. Sorry. I believe in miracles. <laughs> Uh, yes. <laughs> All right. Now, um, go back to the comments. Uh. <laughs> I like that. 
comment. <laughs> oh, Thank you, Sammy. Alpha Alpha Molina, man. Just a hey. The uh, actors in that movie was just phenomenal. Uh, 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 All right. Now tomorrow morning at dawn. I don't know what y'all are doing at dawn. I had somebody now James P. Madonna might know about this a little bit. I get these strange alias account comments they have strange names with faces that are obviously taken off the internet and they always follow the same pattern they'll start off friendly like oh yeah i've had that beer it's really good so on and then over time they become progressively more hostile and uh they use the same phrases same uh tone <coughs> same uh method of communication so to speak it's almost like it, it's the same person using different um made up names and faces and yesterday i was doing a political talk which i thought was very good i wish question i could have joined answer. that i wanted to join that one. yeah it was called question and answer and his comment was well i don't think anybody needs to listen to somebody who gets drunk every morning at dawn he, said, he's talking about oh, daniel right Daniel didn't say that. So, oh, okay. it, but I said, well, just goes to show you that, um, <laughs> that there's no argument there. You cannot, when you, when you say ugly things to people, that doesn't mean you're winning the argument. That means you're losing the political argument. And in fact, everybody knows I have the best bargain on the internet, the best bargain on the internet. And it, no one's ever taken me up on it. Because if you're feeling strong, if you feel strong and uh, you want to present your case, you got it here. There may be a rebuttal. But um, but you James, do it too early in the day. No. Nah, you well, you yeah, got to do it but, after 6 o'clock. Yeah, but I'm usually late. You hey, know what I'm talking about, James. Hey, uh, yeah, what I, what I usually say to them, I, I after, after blocking them because they can't answer you because – they can't, you know, you disable them. I say you're a, you're, you're a pathetic waste of sperm, and when you were born, the doctor slapped your mother. Uh, that's not nice, James. That's cool. Well, they're not being, they're not being nice either. Uh, Very extreme there. Well, so, uh, but I, I just noticed a pattern, you know. But anyway, going back to one, the old... As they, they, you know, they say those kind of things like you're getting drunk at dawn and all that. it's jealousy. What it is, is jealousy because um, they don't have days off from work where they could do that. So they say, oh, I got to go to the grind, you know, and work and, and, and it's anger. They're, they're, wor they're working schleps. That's right. Yeah, it's sad. Right. It's sad in a way that a person, it's sad that people would be jealous of other people on the Internet. I mean, I'm not literally jealous of anybody but um anyway tomorrow at dawn if you want to do something good go out and do something good but if you want to do something that's not so <laughs> if you want to do something that's frivolous you can watch me taste doers <laughs> doers blended scotch introduced in 1899 but they they have changed the recipe there's a big handle on the back i got this huge bottle is that door scotch whiskey, Jay? Yes. I <laughs> see. I bought my dad the regular size bottle when I was in Mexico in 2008. I shipped it to him and he loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Yeah. Well, I'm going up tomorrow morning against Dewar's 12 year age. This is the 12 year age. This was a good deal more expensive. Uh, but when I tell you the price I paid, you, you, you would accuse me of being a lying liar who lies. But, um, when are you, you going to bring back the Ron Pontalba? Ron Pontalba? Oh, when I get back to rum. Rum is coming. Rum is on the way. But I got two Doers products from Scotland. They're going to have a big face-off tomorrow. So that should be a lot of fun. Uh, jealousy notwithstanding, I can't answer for that. You know, I just cannot answer for that. Hey, right, Jay, uh, Jay, quick question. Can you get any of the uh, Barumbacoot rum from um, producing Haiti? Oh, barbecue, uh, barbecue, yes. I, have, I would have to drive about an hour away, but yes, I can get barbecue. There's oh, you can. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, good. yeah. The four star, the four star, and the six star, the eight star. Yeah, 
Okay. So good. Uh, because yeah. that's that is as you know, growing up and my dad would give it to me when I <laughs> you know, when I was sick, you know, he would let me sip sip some of it. You know, it's a very good medicinal tool to feel better. But yeah, overall, I plan, I plan I plan to buy some more barbing. I plan to buy barbing core actually, but I got some of your lung. Not any promos? Okay. Ahead, any promos? No, I don't have any. Okay. Now, Jesse, any promos? Yes. Uh, this upcoming multi Monday, which is going to be August sixteenth, eight p.m. Eastern time, is. Uh, Looking like American light adjunct logger loggers. Is it a beer? Is it, loggers. is it beer or um, lager? He's being he's, he's been silly. Yeah. <laughs> so uh yeah, I'll put out a video tomorrow um say, saying the same thing, but there's probably not a link. But if there is a link uh to beer advocate. Uh, for that style, I'll I'll leave it in the description. If you're having problems finding American what again? Say it again. American adjunct American logger. light, you know, like bush light, bush light, for instance. Why wouldn't they have a link? It's a type of beer. It say what now? Why wouldn't they have a link to that? Or there's why certain, wouldn't, why wouldn't certain, you have a link to that? There's certain styles that might not be on Beer Advocate. That Just because it's not like a craft, craft type style. No, they might have like American um, adjunct loggers, but they might not have one specifically for the light version. For light, for light. I mean, the light it's version ex light. is extremely popular. That's probably right. the most popular. I'm just saying the they might they may have lumped all of that into one. So, I don't want to put something out there where somebody's gonna be like, "Oh, Budweiser," because that's not the light one. You can get the Bud oh, Light. Right. Right. Yeah. Right, we don't want to run into the same problem that we had. You know what I'm talking about. All right. right. Um, Natty, any other Natty. promos, Jesse? Any other promos, Jesse? Um, Alex Beermaster is going to be uh, doing After Dark Beers uh, this upcoming Sunday on his channel because uh, I will be out. So that's yeah. that's about it. Other than that, it's just normal normal video drops. Uh, I dropped one today and Wednesday and. I'll do the, uh, the the shout out video there for the multi Monday tomorrow, and then Friday I'll drop another fantastic fifty point inspection video. What's the next beer on the list? Um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's ready to go. I just uh, I if anybody it. claims it's, uh, it's, it's some like tenth tenth anniversary beer from uh, Throwback. It's it's a New England hazy IPA. Okay. If anybody claims if anybody claims they can't find a light lager for next Monday, you know they're lying. Yeah, I don't know. Is um nat natural light okay? But light. Well, it's lager. It's light. Yeah. yeah. But it's light. adjuncts. I have to look around to find. It's it. gonna have adjuncts. That's the thing. Don't bring don't bring like. Uh, they do have some craft ones out there but light uh, line that they don't use adjuncts so so in other words yeah. in other words don't bring a beta light <laughs> i guess yeah i don't know much about a beta so i can tell you but yeah, i know like all, uh all, night, all, like all, night shift like, brewing company out of mass they have uh, a couple craft craft loggers and they just call them you know they have their night light and then uh, that that one's their their light version of an American right logger. And so don't bring, don't bring Sam Adams light. Really? Yeah, I think that one's not adjuncted either. So yeah. So it has has like, like corn or rice as an adjunct. Yeah, right. Some type, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, as for me, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the review I did the rehash of. Murphy's imported stout, and of course, uh, Jay and everyone else on the channel. When I gave the hint of Chicago, that was, of course, old style, and uh, I reviewed that. And uh, those two videos are up on my channel. I have one more beer 
I well, two more beers I will be reviewing. And then again, maybe more. This coming week depends on what I might find on my travels since I've moved to Georgia. Um, uh, the other one, as I told you, Jay, was the one who said, top of the hell, top of the hat, cowboy. That was the hint I gave everybody. And uh, the other one I will be doing, which will be this one right here, which will be the... Oh, yeah, Goose I love that beer. Right there, the Goose Island... Uh, uh, Goose Island uh, Beer Tropical Hug DDH Double IPA 9.9% ABV or let's just say 10% ABV if we round it off remember that beer that beer had me lit like a match yes so I will be reviewing this I found this at the at the uh, racetrack service station um and I guess maybe that's one of the good things I've been able to see since I've been up here is stuff like this. And again, I'm not going to go on on a tangent, but I guess when you live in an area in a city or the old deal, you know, a metro area of a big city that's very diverse in population, you're going to get different things, you know, things that you would get, say, in another town. And right. Um, and Jay, you notice New Orleans, even though people look at, you know, but New Orleans is such, it's not New York, but New Orleans is such a world renowned city. Everyone visits it, Mardi Gras, this and that. And you can, you have so many different origins of, of cultures and people who visit that city and who come down there, you'll get different things. New York city, Chicago, uh, James would notice, you know, the New York, New Jersey area. We get so many different things. And being down here in the in the Atlanta metro area or the suburbs of Atlanta, you're getting stuff that, you know, I wouldn't get when I was living down in Mobile. All right. Well, I mean, Mobile is, is a small port city like uh, like Beaumont, Texas or something yeah. like that. So you just don't have the variety. Now, we're going to go to James. Yeah, we're going to go to James. And yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a good one. I love that beer. James is going to close this out and give any promos he wants to give. Uh, well, uh, Jean-Pierre is correct. The uh, the major cities and the great resort cities are very multicultural um, uh, as opposed to the other smaller, smaller cities in America. Uh, as far as jealousy goes, Ronald, the cream always rises to the top. Uh, um Jean-Pierre's background reminds me of that song, Knock Three Times on the Ceiling If You Want Me. Uh, let's see. He's also correct about in the Caribbean, they have something called wood root tonic, which is a, a an ancient blend of medicinal plants and herbs that they put into a bottle of rum, close it up, and just hot throw it in the back of a, a closet for a month or longer and all the medicinal value from the alcohol is it becomes a tincture it becomes an extract so he's correct about what he what he might have uh, had when he was younger um let's see um i look let's say something else um uh, i look forward to this Friday, if uh, God oh, yeah, will. I forgot, to, I forgot to promo that. You Fan, can do it. Fan, you no, know, Fandango Friday, this Friday at uh, 5 30 p.m. Uh, uh, Central Time, 6 30 p.m. Eastern Time. Fandango Friday uh, has a theme of liqueur, 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 or uh, uh, flavored hard liquors, which tend to be sweeter than the the straight hard liquors uh so you could bring either or uh but pay attention to the theme pay attention to the theme don't uh, oh by the way i want to give a salute to ronald sutton he did a great job when uh when ronald tirio at the sperm in a moment decided to do a show oh that was monday he did a great job and uh he what do you do what did he do? He followed the guidelines. He followed the, the protocol. For what? I don't understand. The protocol. But Ronald Terrio's uh, protocol. 
Yeah, we were we doing uh, we were doing uh, we were doing amber beers. Am yeah, amber beers. The, uh, is it amber or is it not amber? That is. Is it amber, amber beer or amber ale? Well, it's a long story. Yeah. Oh. Was, yeah. Yeah. It, 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 oh, that, did you go live on Monday, Ron? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even see that. He went live, and then that yeah. was before the his political show. But, uh, yeah, the political show was yesterday. Yeah, he had the political show, uh, and that was Tuesday, yeah, right? Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday. So Monday, Monday was the Amber Beers, and the political show was yesterday. I didn't realize you did a show on Monday. Yeah, he yeah. Did. It, like I said, it was it was a uh, it was an impulse, sperm in a moment decision by Ron Ontario. Knocked three times on the ceiling. Did you join him? I didn't have the product. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't have. I didn't the have product I didn't either. Have, I mean, if you don't have it, no. I, I I think I said greetings or something, but I didn't. I didn't have anything. But but right, uh, and Ronald Ronald was very well behaved. That's, yeah, that's yeah. He brought an interesting Trappist kind of dark beer, right? Yeah. Um, Is that um? An what amber, amber, was it an amber, amber beer? No. No. Nah. Oh, you let say you let it go. Okay. Trap Trappist monks have very powerful trapezius muscles because every time you ask them a question, they go, "I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know." Knock three times on the ceiling. Anyway, morning. Tomorrow morning. Hi. Don't forget if you're if you're snoozing, you watch the reruns and syndication of uh of. of of Ronald right. and my uh, my Dawn Busters are presented. Dawn Busters. Hey right. James, when's the next progressive discussion? I don't know. I, I I need I need volunteers that want to do it. You do it too late. Ron's Ron's already sleeping at ten. And my uh, my Dawn Busters are presented by Screen Gems. All right. Anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and and uh, he uh, um. Now, he's very humble. He doesn't have it yet, but someday he might have, let's say, a Patreon account where you can send your gift donation for, in return, some Louisiana swamp bless, uh, 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 blessed water, some holy water from a special, a special lake in, in Louisiana, Louisiana swamp reviews. Louis Hey, I'll record not... maybe one bottle of maybe a beta uh, a beta amber ale, you know. <laughs> one bottle of a beta amber ale. Here All we right. go. Well, we bet we got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> swamp reviews. That, that's all that that's yeah, that's, that's, all that Louis, Louisiana don't swamp forget, reviews. Don't can, forget to send me all that. Alligators. Money. Yeah, alligators. Uh, no craw crawdad. I mean crawfish mounds in behind them. You know they, they build these mud castles. The crawfish, or maybe yeah, they, live in my they live in my Andrew neighborhood. Gator. They were digging. They were digging. The crawfish were digging burrows in my backyard. Uh, yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, James is going to close us out with a musical accompaniment. It'd be too hot to do a show outside by him, though. I could imagine. Uh, I'm outside right now. It's it's hotter here than it is there. It's very hot. Mid nineties. I and I walked to Trader Joe's. And I was going to take an Uber, but I decided I was too cheap to do it. And I walked, and uh, there's a lot. There was a lot of breeze coming off the Hudson River. I, you know, I do. I do have to admit that. But uh, uh, all right, so this this music is in tribute to Andrew Cuomo. Thank you, and here we go. You know, Thank you, you know, and goodbye. You know what they should. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm waiting for? I'm waiting for some artists to make a political caricature. Of Andrew Cuomo, with the Riddler's uh, uh, jacket on, the green jacket with the question marks, right? Riddle be and, this, Batman, and have him have him saying "Ciao, Bella" with one hand to caress a woman's cheek, and with the other hand he's coming from underneath, <laughs> and, and have him point. This is what I would do. have a the diddler instead of the Riddler, the diddler. <laughs> ciao Bella, ciao Bella. Hey, James. 
What's that? You know what they say? Cuomo's killing grannies and smacking fannies. <laughs> poor, poor Cuomo. I'm gonna miss his uh, his melodramatic uh, uh. play. I'm gonna say is with politicians is always BS on both sides. And we'll leave it right there. Right, like like a like a new car dealer commercial around Christmas time with the disclaimer. Of, blah, 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 blah. We'll <laughs> give you everything for practically nothing, and at the end they go. Like the <laughs> store supplies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jean, it's not just both sides, it's all sides. Don't yes, that's true. That's true. <laughs> and they go Friday. Uh, uh, this Friday. was a fun hangout. Jay, Imperials got us very happy. <laughs> it wasn't stiff and rigid like somebody's shows, or like Androids. Like, uh, I did it. Uh, 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 hops. But, like that Eric guy? <laughs> no, no, he, he's very whimsical. No, Eric is Eric, is, Eric is doing Eric is doing band practice tonight. Now, um, so anyway, well, thanks everybody for joining and get ready for Multi Monday. Don't lie, don't be a lying liar who lies. If you don't want to join light loggers, don't join. But don't go up there talking about I couldn't find a Bud Light, I couldn't find natural light. Yeah, give me a break. And find Coors Light. Ciao, Bella. Right. Any oh. big flats still available? Big flats? No. No, thank big you. Big flats. Now, uh, uh, you don't want to know about big flats. That was bad. Okay. Now, oh, one more thing. Now, here's what's coming up next. Next Wednesday is any ice beer. Ice beer. Now, some people might show up with a really nice one, like uh, Kohlenbach or Ice Box. Keystone Ice. Mm -hmm. Keystone Ice. That would be a great one to bring because it's going to be on its death. Because they're going to be dead. Kohlenbach, Aventinus Ice Box, and then um, August. 25th is Joker's Wild Wednesday. Joker's Wild Wednesday. Okay. Then September 1st, unless we get shut down out of an abundance of caution to protect us from illness. But uh, but September 1st is a beer from your state. Any beer from your state where you're living. I like that one. I guess it's finding beers from my state. Is that a new state? Uh, See, I, I, I like that. I like that. Ron. That's a good, that's a good yes. idea. Yes, it could be a Florida beer, a Georgia beer, a New Hampshire. We beer. We should get a lot of people for that. A New Hampshire beer, a New a New Jersey beer, etc. Yeah, we should have a uh, we should have more people than we can handle. And so I thought that was a good theme. Any beer from your state, like James brought tonight, or I, today, I, I brought tonight. Today I was thinking about Ron. Bumpy brought today, today too, right? And bumpy, right? New three, Hampshire, three, right? three people out of five. Yeah. What, what James? I was thinking of Ronald Terrio's oyster fried oyster po boy sandwiches. Oh yeah. I was thinking about those. Did yeah, they I talked to you, Alex about that uh, for Food Friday. Do they give you a lot? Do they give you a lot of oysters or, or the oysters? Well, it depends or... on it depends on which place you go. Some places are tight, tight wads, some are real generous. But you got a fried oyster po' boys, you got shrimp po' boys, catfish po poor boys, soft shell crab. Soft I like shell the shrimp po' boy. I've had I've had that a bunch of times. Shrimp po' boy. Yeah, soft shell crab poor boy, uh, roast beef roast beef poor boy. Uh huh. Uh -huh. What about you ever had a po' boy, Bumpy? Wild boar from Louisiana, wild hog po' boy. It's a sandwich. Uh -huh. Have you ever had it? Oh, the po' boy. Um, yes, I, I did because uh, I went to um, Maine. Actually, it was in Maine. Yeah, it was the, one of those highway yeah. stops. It was that. Yeah, they're known for seafood. Yeah, Pop Popeyes had po the po' boy or whatever. Popeyes. Popeyes it's pretty much just a. It's just like a. a it's sub, a sandwich. Right? Not a sub. Not really a sub. Yeah, oh, I guess you could was, do it. Yeah, it like, yeah. You it could was like do it in a sub. Chicken. Uh, it was like yeah, a chicken yeah. stuff. Well, with seafood, I guess. And it has different ingredients also, right? 
Right. Well, there's a restaurant here on this highway that's so busy every day with their poor boy sandwiches. It's called my Beals. And my Beals is so busy with their poor boys. They have like the sheriff's deputy outside making sure that people don't fight with each other in the parking lot. <laughs> and, uh, it, it just lined awesome. up. They just lined up to get shrimp poor boys. Uh, Catfish, poor boys, and that, that all goes back to the 1920s when there was a strike in New Orleans. There was a um, a streetcar operator strike, and people that were sympathetic to the union went out there and made these little sandwiches for them to eat while they were on the picket line, and they would hold the picket sign in one hand and eat the poor boy sandwich in the other. They, they felt sorry because they weren't getting paid too much, so they said they were poor boys. So they were giving the sandwich to the poor boys. I make, I'm going to make a juicy loose. So the sandwich is from Louisiana? That's yeah. New Orleans. Well, now what, James? I'm going to, instead of a, uh, I, I got the other half of my Black Angus uh, ground beef. I'm going to make what they call Juicy Lucy, which was invented in Minnesota somewhere. I believe it. And you, you mix good cheese, not Velveeta or Cheese Whiz processed. There's garbage. nothing wrong with Velveeta cheese. No, it's garbage. It's not real cheese. It's it's processed. Not real, but... It, it's for Homer Simpson, you know, people that just shove things in their mouth. Uh, <laughs> and you mix, the, you mix the cheese with the brown beef. This way, when you cook it, it all melts and, and, and you know, just, you know, it's all evenly... I'll show y'all one more thing. I'll show you one more thing. Thurns had this on sale today for 99 cents. Now you tell me if I got a good deal for 99 cents. Hold on. James, why, you gotta, why are you picking on Homer Simpson? Here we go. Well, you know, Duff beer. Mexico Duff makes Duff. There is a Duff beer made in Mexico. They make Duff beer in, in America. They, they started doing that a few years back. I'm not, I don't, I'm not sure who does it, but there is a Duff beer. Remember the Frying Dutchman yeah, seafood buffet? Yeah. You got picked up. Okay. Oh, two fan. We, that's over here in uh, North Bergen. Two fan uh, bagels. All right. You got, yeah, the, you got uh, the salmon. Hey Jay, you got the salmon and you got the uh, the lox, the salmon and the cream cheese. And a little oh, bit I of thought you were showing a liquor, a liquor bottle. Oh, they make they make pita bread. They're in North Bergen on Tunnel. Uh, I thought Tunnel, that was yeah. some kind of craft liquor. I mean, can I know. You think this is a good deal for 99 cents? Yes. 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 All right. Well, <laughs> it's a good bakery. I can't wait. I can't wait to eat it tomorrow. Well, thanks everybody for joining. And we had a great time. And join us next week for ice beers, even though it's not very icy in, in August. We're all going to die. You're all going to die Sorry. because of all. Oh, yes.